And this one's videos about uh, this one's gonna be crazy because this one's about girls who already have boyfriends or cheating situations as far as cheating I'm not about that at all I have a reputation and a lot of it seems to be going towards that right now fuck all that now if you have a boyfriend or whatever don't pretend that you don't usually what I expect when I see a girl who has a boyfriend is for them to be with their boyfriend all the time and not be live on camera looking for attention or nothing like that you know, you have people who say that they're Instagram models and all that shit. If you have a boyfriend, you're not an Instagram model anymore. You're a faithful wife who stays at home and does whatever he needs to do, she needs to do for her, her husband. Period. I can't stress that enough. I can't talk about girls who aren't doing that. I can't, you know, say, you know, whether you're saving yourself from bullshit that your boyfriend's going to put you through. I mean, me personally, I, I wouldn't put my girl through that. I would definitely just make, if, if my girl is going to be somewhat famous, it's, she's not going to be showing off like that. You know, like it's going to be more about business more than anything and, or just about me and her like period. There's no other way of coming up once you have a girlfriend and you show that girl off, period. You're with her all the time, take videos, you tell everybody everything, and you talk about her nonstop. That's it. Now, shit, man, like, whenever you're paying attention to somebody, it's not because you feel bad for them but because you know that you have some type of interest or that person can do something for you that you can't do that you can do for them and shit like that you exchange motherfucking shit for each other like you don't sit there and and try to look for something better or something that that's not you know you exchange stuff and um, when when uh, the person is single, you're allowed to exchange shit. Now, that's the beauty of getting to know somebody. That's the beauty of getting married. Like that first moment that y'all shared with each other, never forgetting that and all that. It's not about, uh, you know, making a bunch of friends and trying to, you know, make get an, getting another girl from far out there and somehow that's going to expand you and your women, your girls' world. It's not. It's going to fuck everything up. You need to, like, stick to your what spot that you're at. And if you are going to expand, make sure that you're going to go back. Don't sit there and, and think that that going off the rails ain't going to fuck anything up, because it is. You and your girl need to tell each other that before doing it. You need to talk to each other and make sure that, that y'all are in the same interest. Y'all got to be ready for the whatever ride y'all going to go through. And make sure that that she's the one that you want to be with because honestly if she's the girl that you really want to be with talking about going off the rails ain't even a, a, a choice it's more like more like you're just asking for it or something i've been in situations where my girlfriends that didn't even last with them for two weeks and then after that you know we they still wanted to talk and i was already trying to like you know, I, like, so I did talk to them, but there was other girls who were showing interest and they seemed like I can trust them more. So 
you know, I would talk to two girls at the same time, but I was with them knowing what the situation was. I was still waiting for me to fall in love with somebody though, and it just never would happen. Then these girls were put up a front pretending like, or not, not putting them up front, they were just, I don't know. They were, I guess, putting up a front saying that I was with them and shit, and that I was cheating on them and all this shit. I'm like, okay, well, you know, when they say shit like that, then it's like, all right, well, they, they obviously care about you. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna pick one girl, you're going to show her what it is to be a boyfriend, which is exactly what I already did. So I'll show them off and, you know, everything will play out exactly the way it needs to play out. She's talking to a guy and will be mad. Now, if I do catch her talking to another guy or anything like that, I'm going to sit here and be like, all right, well, I have friends to talk to now, meaning homegirls. I got a girl who who genuinely cares who his intentions is not to cheat or to let me cheat. Well, even after the fact that the girl that you're talking to just got done cheating by talking to another guy, sharing feelings and all that, replying, period. Like, you know, I just don't play any of those games. I'm more about just... Look, you know, let me find the girl who wants to be with me and wants to just be by themselves and all that shit. It's not with me, you know, by themselves, with me be by ourselves. Like, you know, if it's, it's, it's not easy for shit, but it's not like it hasn't happened before. Like, there is women out there who do believe in motherfucking privacy and fucking doing everything for one guy and I'll do anything for a girl like for me shit like I'll stop doing videos I'll do all my videos about her like whoever it is you know and I'll spend I'll spend all my money on her you know like that's usually what the case is and or I'll just have her be broke with me the whole time, or if, if I'm just paying bills. Or just watch movies and all that, like, all the time. But, uh, yeah, as far as girls having boyfriends and shit and not being able to control themselves, that shit pisses me off way more than, than I would like to admit. Because that shit's been happening for, like, forever now. Like, ever since people have been... I've had girls cheat on me, and it's like, it's kind of annoying, you know, you you meet these girls on the other end, and, and you try to, you try to, like, understand why dudes like to get with girls like that, and it's, there's no real answer, it's like, oh, that's just the way it is, like, no, bro, like, you need to know the ins and outs of girls, period, like, girls don't know what they're doing at the time or most of the time you have to like take control of that you have to make sure that that you know what's going on and you have to make them feel like they know what's going on because you know like it's just i don't know it's sad man uh i just hope whoever's watching understands and can probably like be in a better path put them their girlfriends on a better path and um what do you call it like all I, all of my exes have boyfriends now or husbands and all that and kids and i always make sure that i want the best for them it doesn't matter who i am anymore it's i'm just somebody who was who's obviously not going to be uh, good in the eyes of their new boyfriends. Always going to be the case. But as far as just, like, me seeing, like, us still being in this world, I, I want the best for them. I want to make sure that she's happy and all that. Now, 
if those guys are starting to do some bad shit and that girl starts to do fucking stupid shit too, I'm just like, look, you just showing me off the bat that you're really not faithful at all, so why would I even reply to that girl? Even though she's my ex, she's showing me that she doesn't really have the best intentions for me. So I'm going to, if, if, if they keep coming at me and shit, I'm just going to use them to the point where it's like, all right, well, hopefully she can have some money, get some money going, like has art still going on or some shit. Hopefully she can make some sales for me. I mean, the whole feelings and shit, it's all going to take place. It's all going to replace with, get replaced with business. Like, all right, well, you know, maybe I should do butterflies and shit and sell it to somebody who's single and shit, who's interested in art and shares the same things that I share. She shares the same opinion. Now, this girl's probably going to tell me, you should leave your girl's your exes completely block all of them i said well yeah that does sound like a, a better idea but i i'm still wrapping my head around this part blocking my exes that shit's a big problem to me, for me because when i talk to new girls i always tell them about i talk to them about their exes and i ask them did he treat you bad and like, is he, was he bad? Was he a bad influence? Is, is he like somebody who, who doesn't treat you right? Or is there a reason why you hate him or what? Like, should I be thinking wrong about this guy? Because he obviously g gave you the best times of your life. And that's what the, all the exes, right? So why would I have anything bad to say to him? I should be thanking him. Like, look, it obviously didn't work out. I'm going to do my best to do it for you in a sense of like men, sportsmanship, whatever the fuck you want to call it. That shit is just like, you need to make sure that you know what you're doing when you have a girlfriend. So, yeah. If she tells me he was treating me bad, he was the worst boyfriend ever. He did this, did that. I'm like, all right, well, don't talk to him anymore. The fuck is that simple? It's like that that guy's not going to do anything for you. He's not going to do anything for me. He's not teaching me nothing. That shit sounds bad. I don't want none of that shit on me. I'm good. I don't want to get to know him. I don't want to appreciate him. Nothing. You know, like God knows. I could pray for him, make sure he gets better. You know, I could pray for you, make sure you get better, but... Uh, because that's a fucked up situation to go through. And obviously God is always going to help. And. But just don't talk to him anymore. Don't sit there and lie to each other. And don't. You know like if, if y'all really like each other. Then get back with each other. And leave me alone. And that's. Eventually that's some. That's what has happened with some of my girlfriends. Now. Man, if you but if you have a fucking boyfriend and you sit here talking to me like or looking at me and giving these eyes all this shit, man, that's just the worst motherfucking drama you could be asking for. In the sense of like I mean, you know, you off the bat, man, you hear about these stories where I have boyfriends and their intentions are to get you into some kind of trouble. They want to get you for your money, so they flirt with you, and then their boyfriends come in, acting like you don't know what the fuck is going on, or that you do know what's going on and shit, and you give them all the money, right? All that bullshit, shit like that happens, believe it or not. And it and it happens more to the guys who are more willing to to fuck up their re reputation. Now, I'm not trying to fuck up my reputation, for sure. I have a, a reputation and, you know, you can have people blackmailing you all the time who are also probably in relationships who all like are in it for the big money and shit. It's like, good for fucking you, bro. Like, keep me the fuck out of it. You're a piece of artwork and I'm still looking for that girl who's who has the same opinion as me and is willing to do the same shit and who understands the same exact shit. They see it, 
You know, some girls go through the same shit. I don't know. I've never heard about it or anything, but I can't judge. You know, I can't sit here and pretend that God doesn't have a girl for me out there. And as far as just knowing about it, that's the worst part. Because when you, once you know about some shit, it's like, all right, well, how the fuck am I going to get that out of my head? You know, like, you just need to fucking have hope and shit, you know, because, man, there's... There's all kinds of shit that everything can turn sideways at any time just because, you know, there's this one guy who, who isn't putting the best example out there, you know? Now, I've had a lot of girlfriends. I think maybe like, 20 of them that I can mention. Some of them I met just doing tattoos. And, um, you know, some of them were like Latinas. Most of them were Latinas. Uh, if not all of them. And we all have this respect towards our parents of, you know, introducing each other and making sure that we all have the best intentions for each other. You know, once you get the family involved into all this shit, it's like, you know, you're you're involving everybody's family, not just your family. And so we all see it. We all we all like, man, as a family, you know that this person is going through it. You've met this person before, and you know that that they're being blackmailed over or like being like stalked by people who who are in relationships and are just straight straight out bad shit crazy and um it's real easy to be like oh you know well I'm single and I'm not really talking to y'all anymore and all this so it's like well, I still need to relieve my stress somehow. And whatever they have going, it has nothing to do with what I'm doing. Which is true. And it feels a lot better to go through it with somebody, though. You know, you always want to make sure that you're, you don't forget where you come from. You know, and then these... Your, the families of your exes, they think, hey, man, he's involved into all this shit. Don't let him, you know, do that. Or, like, uh, that's, don't, like, associate with him if he's still doing it. I don't know where those go girls are anymore. I pray for them to come back out. You know, um, what do you call it? It's just way too much shit going on for someone to be not in a relationship and be like you know like uh, in love and all that and just doing exactly what needs to be done period it's fucking crazy now that shit I just have to talk about cause it's been a while. I don't really talk about my girls the way I did, that just did or whatever. This was much a much needed conversation as far as uh, I'm a subject, a much needed subject. And uh, I'm going to continue talking to girls whether they feel to have to mention that they have a boyfriend or not. That's on them whether the boyfriends feel like doing the thing, the way they're doing things, the way they're doing it, man, like, they're, they really aren't the best uh, influencers out there, like, the best people to look up to at all. For me, at least, I'm just like, 
fuck, man. I can't deal with these people no more. That's why I had to talk about it. I was like, and uh, yeah, I was like, fuck, dude. Like, this shit is still going on. I thought it was just a phase that the world was going through. You have these people who get tattooed in the face and they go through mental illness. Now you have these guys sharing their curls and telling them to to pretend to be single and shit like that. It's like, I mean, shit. Fuck all that, right? But, um, uh, yeah. I thought it was a face, but it's actually been, it's still going. But yeah, I'm not trying to be influenced by shit like that. I'm more I'm trying to trying to see a, a very clear road that has nothing to do with that shit. <laughs> but uh, hopefully my message gets out there and hopefully I can start seeing some fishes coming out the water that that don't have that mentality and sort of just like catch the attention real quick and understand that reality is way more important than technology and TV sets and shit and all that like mm, you know those are the those people out there right now doing all that shit those are the ones causing, causing all those problems with other relationships that that probably don't even want to be involved in, like, the shit that they're involved in, like, as, as far as being misunderstood and being stressed only because there's these people who feel like, who, who are in a relationship and feel like they can blackmail anybody and use them to their advantage, and it's like, uh, it's kind of funny. Because God isn't cool with that shit. We all know that. You know, there's a lot of people out there who, who are artists and they get paid for it. And there's a lot of people who aren't artists and they also get paid for it. But those are the people who end up in jail. Because obviously that's not some shit you're supposed to be doing. You know, artists, they do it because it's their profession. It's, it's what they're officials. They're official people. They're, like, licensed and shit. They have a company. It's not, like, some shit that they don't take serious. So, yeah. I had to delete all of my videos that I had. I had to delete all my fucking screenshots. This shit was one of the, probably, if not the number one subject on here. As far as everything else, that, that this is probably, you know, you got Project 100, you have my, or you have tattoos and all that shit. All of that shit seems to be overshadowed by this fucking issue that I'm seeing. Because nothing beats that intimacy, you know, and that has, I think, gone to a point where it's been abused or mistook him. intimacy. So... Man, there needs to be people out there who know what they're doing. And, uh, you know, we all hope that it goes away someday. Uh, I've, I've ignored this subject because, to me, I've, I've been, I've been, I'm not going to lie, ever since I've gone through my breakups you know I've, 
sort of low key wish the worst for every everybody else in a relationship who looks to be happy because they did it. I feel like they didn't want me and my girl happy, so I feel like there's a reason why my relationship didn't work out. So it's like, all right, well, you know, hopefully all y'all's relationship goes to hell type shit. Like, cause you know, by what I'm hearing and seeing, by what God is showing me is that y'all didn't really have the best intentions for me this whole time. And this is like, so this, that was, this was a deep subject that I wasn't even sure about. So that's why I didn't talk about it. But right now it seems very important. These last few videos was about God and, and Project 100 and uh, inti intimacy and all of those are important. So this seems to be, obviously, this was going to be the next video. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do next. This was the longest video. It's like three part. But uh, we'll see. There, there seem to be longer now. And um, y'all need, y'all just girls, man, y'all girls need a, y'all need to change that vibe about y'all. Because it's really easy for any guy to be like, all right, fuck it, you know. And not, it's not supposed to be that easy at all. It's supposed to be like, oh, man, that, that girl obviously has a boyfriend. Or, uh, like, you know, like when, when a girl tells me she has a boyfriend... Or if, if I see a dude with his girl and he's happy as shit, that's how you know that you need to leave her alone. Like, you see the fucking smile on her face, right? You see the dude with the biggest smile on his face. You see them, you know what I mean? They see each other, they know everything. The guy who the, that doesn't know shit and the girl who's playing it, Fuck all that shit. I'm just like, you wish you never seen that shit. It's like, fuck. But, um, I don't know. I don't think it's too crazy for someone to be. Um, you know, people shouldn't worry too much about it. People should just try to be a better example. Be happy as shit. Be happy as fuck. Don't try to fucking fight. Don't sit there and fight with each other. Don't don't sit there and you know y'all y'all just gotta be motherfucking good to each other as if day one that that it was meant to be type shit. Like y'all had lives before then that made you feel like y'all were meant to be type shit. Like that's the way I think. Whenever I have a girl. I'm like, man, I was probably meant to be with this girl this whole time. Eternities, lives, infinite lives. Like, I probably should have been with this girl this whole time. Like, that's that's how I live. I'm like, live on an infinite life level. But, you know, I, I, I shut all that shit down whenever me and my ex broke up. Because, I mean, shit, man. I was on drugs, too, and... That just sort of made it funner for me, and I would, and when it came to you know her, like she knew what I was into, and she uh, she didn't like it too much, but I did promise her that I wasn't gonna always be doing it, so I did not always do it. I was just sort of working, and trying to keep my business about her for the most part. But man, you know, like, not everybody can keep their shit straight. Not everybody could, you know, sometimes they see a window and they think that's the reason for you to be cheating, and it's not, you know. You got to respect that person for what they do. You got to respect them for for who they say they are, period. Mm. But yeah. Uh, I don't think meeting girls online is the best intentions. It's the best thing because the girls that I've met online, 
have probably been the worst for me. So I don't advise it. I'm more like, you know, like a person, like just face to face and and just kind of go about it from there, you know. But uh, it's been a while, man. Shit, it's, it's like, it's, uh, since I don't do tattoos anymore, it's like, you know, I'm more just out here doing, like, just minding my own business and shit. But, uh, yeah. I do talk to girls and I do, like, someone just call them, hey, you know, be my girl for like five minutes and shit. And they're, they, they are my girl for like five minutes and shit. We were in love for like those five minutes, but only because you're able to, I'm able to. But that's all I have going. But my reputation, I have a reputation that says that I'm a loyal person. I have three girlfriends with, that I've been with for three years. I treat every girl right, but there is a little downside needle to it where, oh, this girl, this guy treats them bad and has cheated on them and has left them li looking miserable and stuff and that might be the case but God always puts you through some kind of shit like that so that's me that's what my God put me through cause he obviously didn't do this shit for no reason you know I have you know, I, my warnings, I tell girls, look, I have a reputation, this is the type of shit that I try to avoid, so please don't bring that shit my way, type of shit. Some girls don't listen. Sometimes it's more like, you know, because cause everyone's going to decide for the girl, regardless. So this whole reputation that I have, that little needle that I have going, is like fucking everything up for me right now. A sense of like it's throbbing or it's like just sort of what could be the needle that pops like you know your your business and shit my whole business which is like project 100 and shit like that like this it's just like not fun anymore whenever you're repeatedly going through it, and then you have people who you watch going, getting in relationships, and it working out, you know. So it's like, all right, and then you see girls who you could be working out with, because you have you 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 talk to them for like five minutes, and you tell them, I'm gonna be your boyfriend for five minutes. You have these girls that you have fallen for you and shit, and then you have these people with this damn needle talking about, hey, you know, look at this, look at this. I'm like, fuck, dude, what the hell? Like, you must be married already. You probably ended with your girl. Y'all probably think this shit is funny or some shit, but they're really pointing the needle back out themselves, and they're really putting themselves in danger where it's like, you know, they're going to get to see all the girls that I talk to. The boyfriend's not going to be able to say no to any of them, and the girl's not going to be able to say no to whatever it is that I have to offer as far as you know, money, like, like, money opportunities, by that I mean, like, oh, did you know that Cartoon Network has the specials going on right now, like, did you know that there's a truck that you can get for cheap on this side, there's, that I have friends over here on this end that, that probably can hook you up and shit like that, and they put, they'll put themselves in that situation where it's like, okay, where did you get this from, where did you, where did this friend come from? You know, it's like, well, I'm, like, now a victim because I'm just, like, well, I was doing my own business. You came with the needle talking about, you know, that I'm the worst guy in the world because of these girls or some shit, which they, with these girls, they know exactly what's going on. So they're, they don't like their business putting out there. They're going to give me a hand and be like, you know, 
they don't they they wish they're sorry we were that that they that uh, they're sorry that I'm going through it. I'm sorry that that I'm going through it. And it's just like it plays out, you know what I mean? So <sighs> I'm just glad I'm not mm, the idiot as far as you know, like, mm -hmm, like, I have my life straight. I look forward to better days, and whoever is fucking around with that needle, I mean, I, I'm going to pray for y'all, you know, make sure that y'all get some therapy or some shit. And, uh, just, yeah. I'm going to continue to talk to my girls, though. Having girls for, like, five minutes and shit. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping y'all all stay out the way. Those who are in a relationship, stay out the way. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what your mom and dad taught you. I'm pretty sure that's what they're supposed to teach you. 